in Goa where there's lots of action happening and let's just look because of course Goa was where there were sacred pledges being taken in temples, in churches, all the Congress MLAs uh, also took a pledge in front of Rahul Gandhi. So let's just look at the complete switch back and forth which is happening in Goa. So there we see it, a Maharashtra redone almost in Goa with before oaths of loyalties at temples, at churches with the Congress uh, ex-president Rahul Gandhi and now defection looming with sort of as we are saying that the former chief minister, Congress chief minister Goa Digambar Kamath and uh, uh, Michael Lobo who was an ex-BGP uh, ex -BGP person before he joined the Congress now being disqualified action against them. What's the latest? Why is it stalled? Because apparently the plans were that a majority of Congress MLAs would be joining the BGP. That's right. You know, in fact, the BJP needed eight Congress MLAs to switch sides to avoid attracting the provisions of the anti-defection law. That number eight seems to have evaded them. Now, it's rainy weather in Goa and the political climate also is turbulent both in Maharashtra and Goa. But what the rebellion in the neighboring state of Maharashtra seems to have been successful with is getting that two-thirds number. Whereas, uh, those who have fermented the rebellion here in Goa are still to reach that figure. Now, Congress sources say that they stepped in before this could really erupt and blow up in their faces. They uh, spoke to MLAs. In fact, there's a CLP meeting that's scheduled to happen. Uh, Mukul Vasnik is here. Dinesh Gundu Rao is here. These are senior Congress leaders who are in charge of Goa. But Digambar Kamath leading a uh, rebellion in the Congress in Goa, well, like they say, anything is possible in Goa politics. But this was really... Uh, you know, one man who has been in the Congress for years now, but let's not forget he has a small time, a small past in the BJP as well. So, right. like they say, you can't really say what's happened. The Congress seems to have averted it for now, but for how long? That's anyone's guess. <laughs> गोवा में बहुत बार आते हैं गोवा का अच्छे से उनको परिचय भी है मुझे लगता है गोवा के बारे में बात करने से पहले उन्होंने 10 बार सोचना चाहिए क्योंकि मैंने उनका स्टेटमेंट देखा था उन्होंने बोला गोवा के कांग्रेस के 12 एमएलए हमारे संपर्क में है संपर्क में है मैं उनको याद दिलाना चाहता हूं कि गोवा में कांग्रेस के 12 नहीं 11 एमएलए हैं ये पहली बात है तो यहीं से पता चलता है कि uh, उनके फैक्स जो है वो सही नहीं है यस yes, वो चाहते हैं कि पूरे देश में एक ओपोजिशन ना रहे ओपोजिशन को तोड़े ओपोजिशन का जो आवाज है वो कहीं दबाया जाए उनकी कोशिश थी वो हमने उनकी कोशिश जो है वो ना सफल और ना कामयाब होने के लिए हमने वी हैव ट्राइड आवर लेवल टू कमेंट ऑन एनी सिचुएशन व्हिच आई एम नॉट अवेयर ऑफ एंड आई एम नॉट अ पार्ट ऑफ एज़ फार एज़ द कांग्रेस पार्टी इज कंसर्न इट्स अ इंटरनल मैटर ऑफ द कांग्रेस पार्टी which the Congress has to handle. As far as the Bharatiya Janata Party is concerned, I am not aware what has happened and what is going on. I was sitting in my cabin yesterday also, but whatever is the situation, I mean, everybody is a mature adult, but I don't think Bharatiya Janata Party has got any role to play on any of these issues. So you